Jack, 4-2 win over Lee Hang. How would you assess your performance there? I thought it was uh, lucky to get through a sort of 2-2 two, two, and I was getting a bit frustrated and didn't feel like I'd done much wrong and then um, played a few loose shots, missed a few at 2-2 two, two, but luckily I popped a good red and kind of a risky shot going into the pack and it went in and made a 50-odd off at the break, that break in pretty much one minute frame and then he missed a few in the last frame so yeah, fell over the line. It's a tough draw in the first round, you know, he's a good player and at 2-2 two, two, you must have been thinking it was a, you know, it was an important moment, so it's just, it's crucial to get through those kind of games. Yeah, 2-2 two, two, I thought, oh God. Uh, this isn't looking good and it, you know it's, it's best of seven it's a quick game you sort of I was in control in control like I said I hadn't really done much wrong and then suddenly I'm like 20 down 2-2 two, two, and I'm thinking I don't know but um, it's just about playing it like a, we haven't played a lot of tournaments recently and I feel a bit match rusty but hopefully if I can just keep nicking a few games and people can just keep um, sort of giving me chances then I'll eventually my confidence will grow a little bit and I'll get more used to playing matches because you know we haven't had a lot to go out the last six months What about your practice game how do you feel the, the, what kind of shape do you think your games is? I don't really know um, I've been playing pretty good but um, the first what do they have the Championship League and the Europeans has there been two tournaments so far this season that was kind of I wasn't very good in either of those tournaments I felt pretty rusty so I had a few games with um, Wembo last week and um I think it hopefully sharpened me up a bit. He's pretty, you know, he's brilliant in practice. So it was good to sort of play him and get used to playing people again. Because I haven't really played anyone, just sort of been practicing by myself. And um, every game you sort of grow a little bit, get more used to it, and sharpen up a bit. Because some of my shots are kind of loose. They're loose at the best of times. So when I haven't been playing, it's pretty bad. And you didn't have a, a fantastic season last season, although of course you did get to one of these home nations finals, but. Do you kind of look at it as, you know, you're going to have spells throughout your career when you when you win a lot of matches, lose a lot of matches, and then you just got to keep going and just wait for that wait for that week where everything comes together? Yeah, for sure. The final against Selby in the Scottish Open was my highlight of my season by far. Um, didn't really do much else apart from that. So it's just kind of tough to, you know, I've worked so hard to be honest with you, like three seasons ago, I was working so hard for two two seasons. It was I really, I found it so easy to, to sort of be playing nine hours a day, but I guess I think maybe I've lost a few finals. It was a little bit disappointing. I could have done the little bit more to sort of enjoyment out of the game. And it's, it was really tough last season to constantly get up and practice as hard as I could. It's, um, some of the games as well, I lost confidence in. I felt like I lost confidence sort of quite early on in the season. So changed my cue as well. Um, so yeah, there's a few things going on, but you know, it was my fault and um, I'm here to sort of put it right this season, hopefully. And this season, it could be a challenge for you to stay in the top 16. Is that one of your targets for the season? No, not really. It's just, um, I haven't really, I honestly haven't looked at the rankings. I, my mate keeps telling me I'm sort of like 14 around there, but um, I know I haven't really done much, so I, I would expect to sort of drop down a little bit, but I know what to do to... Um, sort of get to the later rounds and get consistency I know it's just about pure hard work for me so at least I feel like I've got sort of a formula I can fall back on and when I really need some results to I don't know sneak into the Masters or whatever I'm not sure what's going on what's going to be the, uh, the schedule for the top 16 but I'll just be trying my best and um, I'm just trying to win every tournament I'm trying to win every tournament I'm playing to try and win one tournament you know that's sort of the goal every time so hopefully if I keep trying my best every game every tournament I can Nick, Nick a title eventually. Never know, it could be this week. Well done today, Jack. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.